Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What are you talking about? My first life update ever. I've never done a life update video before because um, I've never thought, I always thought that mm, it's a bit too deep in it. But I realized that it's kind of unfair of me to just ghost you guys and then expect you guys to consume my content whenever I decide to come back. The way it looks, it looks like I just don't give a shit, but I actually really do. I love creating content and I wanted to do a live update so that you guys can see that whenever I don't upload, it's not because I don't want to or because I'm being lazy. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it's a lazy thing. More often than not, it's because something is actually happening or like there's something that's obstructed me. So I wanted to let you guys know sometimes why, like right now I wanted to let you guys know why I haven't uploaded since like December and it's freaking February. Okay, December's a lie. That video was like in Jan. I've been back in Cape Town for like two weeks. See, I left Zim so late because I didn't have accommodation. Like I didn't have somewhere to live. Like I was looking and I was looking for accommodation and like things just kept on falling through. Like uh, my applications would fall through or like the place would get taken. And, you know, you know, you know how the bullshit goes. Okay. So then I stayed in Zim longer than I wanted to stay in Zim, um, which wasn't a big deal because there's some people I didn't want to leave in Zim in a rush anyway. My school only started way later, but obviously I wanted to come back for that, you know, that uh, freedom because this whole thing of like having to say every time you leave the house, it, it wasn't really working for me. I really wanted to come back just so I could be my own space and have my own clear head and you know, enjoy my long distance relationship with my parents. Came back and I was staying um, in, in this apartment in town while I was like hunting for um, apartments. So I was doing apartment views and stuff like that. I didn't really do anything besides go and view apartments. Also, the amount of money I spent on Uber I feel like I should get sponsored. I had 10 days to find an apartment, so it was kind of like stressful for me. Luckily enough, I did find an apartment, the one I'm in right now, uh, which you guys will see. Anyway, so I come back, right? I come back to Cape Town and I'm like, okay, content sheds us up. Let's do this, let's do this. First of all, I'm so stressed about this accommodation thing. First of all, it's not even the accommodation that much. That was, it was stressful, the accommodation, but what was also stressful was the fact that I had all this stuff that I couldn't put in that Airbnb. I don't have a laptop. My laptop got stolen Kudara, like long ago. And I've never gotten a laptop since. Um, I have, have a computer, but that's what I'll edit my videos on. Then like last year, um, which is also another time when I didn't upload for a while because of this complication. But like last year, some of the keys on my keyboard stopped working, right? And I have a Bluetooth keyboard. So um, I have a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse. So it makes it harder because like, it has to work. However, I took it to the ice store and I said, hey yo, um, some of the keys aren't working. We don't really, we can't really fix your keyboard um, because like your computer, like your computer is like an older-ish model. So we have to, you have to replace the keyboard. And I said, fair enough. I said, fair enough. How much is it to replace my keyboard? Why were prices starting at like 4K? I did not tell my parents how much that keyboard was with everything that was going on and also like like finance issues going on i was not about to tell my parents that i need like i don't even know if the one i needed for my computer was 4k they were just starting at 4k and i wasn't going to say that to my parents so i was just like you know what you adapt use your phone i actually don't mind editing on my phone that bad until like you know like maybe i make bag and i can buy myself a laptop you know so i said fine i edit on my phone so i was like fine i'll edit on my phone that same weekend, my phone got stolen. I went to a bar with my friends or whatever, um, and my phone got stolen there. That's when I said, "Is am I supposed to be doing this? Luckily, I have a really good friend, and that didn't, me having no phone did not last really long. So I started editing my phone, I started editing on my phone. So anyway, now let's fast forward to why I started talking about my computer. So um, I still use my computer. I still used to use my computer. I just wouldn't edit, but like because there's some keys that I couldn't push or like whatever. Well, I was just like, okay, now it's stressful. But I'll still do everything on my computer. I'll still YouTube, Netflix, you know, all that stuff. I'll still do that on my computer. So now I come back this year, and I'm trying to plug in my computer because I'm like, okay, I filmed some footage. Let me edit it. But let me now edit it on my uh, computer. My whole keyboard now does not work. The whole keyboard does not work. I couldn't even unlock my computer. That happened and I was just like, you know what, it's like, okay, like, another punch in the face, Chedza, but it's okay, it's fine, you know, 
just stay positive you can still upload on your phone you can still watch i don't know i guess you can watch netflix and all that stuff on your phone it's fine i'm also gonna see it in the vlog but that's the day i went to go get um my nose re-pierced i had a house viewing that day um so i didn't want to like go back home because like that would be a waste of time so i just went to so i just went to this little restaurant and i was like oh let me just have a drink i bought a gin and tonic and if you follow me on instagram you know i like to take pictures of my food or i like to take pictures of my drinks i'm holding this glass right this this is me holding this glass of gnt and like it's up in the air i take my phone i lock my phone i go to my instagram tell me why i'm logged out so i don't really use instagram that much funny enough I don't really use Instagram that much. I use my Finsta a lot. I don't usually go onto my main account. I hadn't been on Instagram since like the day before. So like, I was like logged out. I was like, I didn't deep it at the time because I was like, okay, maybe my request is timed out. You know, like when they do that, like when websites, whatever they, who is burning Sadza? I didn't really deep it. I was just like, okay, maybe my request is timed out. They just want me to put my password in my game. I tried putting my password, it's a bullshit wrong. Then Instagram says, what are you talking about? Also, if you know me, you know my phone is never charged unfortunately which is also pretty messed up because i'm always at home i can't even address this right now i need to go to a house viewing i'm not gonna be able to make it there if you know i'm here trying to you know guess my password because also another thing my memory is kind of fucked it's not like terrible but like i'm 22 actually 21 yeah i need to grow up all my passwords for everything in one place so i just said you know i probably got it wrong i'll just look at the password and then, you know i'll try and make it work again i go to my house viewing after my viewing i went to my friend's house because i hadn't seen him since like december and, you know we're chilling drinking mimosas you know vibes 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 then i come home later knocked i didn't even i didn't even go on my instagram the only thing that was logged out was my main but like my finsta my cooking page was still up the next morning i wake up i'm like ah oh yeah so then i go to my emails instagram is sending me an email two days ago saying um Two days ago, I think it was like one in the morning, no, like three in the morning, saying someone in Nigeria, there's been a suspicious login in Nigeria. If it wasn't you, change your password here. I tried to press that, and the link had expired. Ah, thick. So I went on Instagram, then I put forgotten password. Like I pressed, I forgot my password, so I could change my password because send me an email recently. That nigga had changed my recovery number and my recovery email. The request for me to put a new password went to him. And I said, do you know what? Fair play. I followed the steps Instagram told me. Like, people were trying to help me, which was so sweet. Yeah, I wasn't fucking working, bro. And then the next day, I wake up, and I had, like, messages from my friends saying, well, you hacked, bro. I mean, I was like, yeah, but, like, how would you guys know? This Matthew Jeff guy had posted so many. People were saying, did you post this? Send me pictures of Jay-Z doing this. And I said, do you think I posted that? Yeah, so I failed to get my account back. So I just made a new one. Follow me. That's how I got hacked. Also, he tried to hack into my email. Tried to hack into my other Instagram account. And I know it's the same person because it comes from the same place. Like the same pin. Well, I think it's the same person. Unless everyone in Nigeria just has a vendetta against me. That's where we currently are now. That's why I haven't really been uploading the moving things just happening it's just really disheartening when like when you have so much going against you because it'll be like i'll be like okay let me escape my problems you know the problems that i personally have in something that i love to do which is create content and then like um the things i used to film and edit with stop working my things get hacked it's just really disheartening and it like makes me think should i even like be freaking doing this why am i stressing myself i won't even like get pissed off but i'll just like get defeated like deflated i'll just be like ah. you know like when my instagram got hacked like when i saw you guys i wasn't even like um i wasn't even like sad or like whatever like i was just like ah, something else like you know like just defeat just like tired and just like defeated and i was just like you know what i wasn't even gonna make a new account because i was just gonna i was actually just gonna be like you know like fuck this not even to be on some sus vibes or whatever but the only reason why like i still upload or like do this yeah it's because i like creating content but it's also because of because of you guys <laughs> i can't tell you guys how much love i got when i went back to zim um in december no ways I don't know. I'm getting a bit sappy, but I just love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>